that the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development are fully aware of the fact that there are a number of students who attend school without having a proper meal. They may be lacking a proper meal because, one, maybe they're, they're coming from households where the, the parents are not employed, or maybe the distance to the school does not provide enough time for the parents to provide them with a meal. And additionally, as I said before, um, given the low level of income, the parents just cannot afford to provide a meal for the students before they come to school. We also understand that there are serious negative implications when children attend school without being properly fed. It will severely impact on their ability to learn. And therefore, at the level of government and the ministry, we are committed to doing something about that. And that is why we have put in place a well-regulated and fully functioning school feeding program. Last year, we allocated over $3 million to assist our children to get a proper meal at the various schools. And from all indications, that program is doing very well. We do intend to continue with that program in 2014 or even expand it as the number of students who require um, an additional meal um, increases. So therefore, we are fully committed to ensuring that the school feeding program is a success. The school feeding program hopes to achieve, to improve the school enrollment and attendance of students, reduce the drop off, dropout rate, to improve the nutritional value of the meals offered to students, to increase the utilization of food and production of food produced at schools, and so encourage schools to do gardening, uh, poultry production that can be used within the program, and that's done through the 4 movement. We partner with a number of institutions locally as well as externally, with local churches, communities, farming communities, farming groups, and other entities within Grenada. The day-to-day -day operation of the school feeding program takes place generally. Schools prepare a hot midday meal. We presently employ approximately 165 cooks who are paid by government. And the schools themselves, they would be given a food basket on a monthly basis. The food basket consists basically of perishable and non-perishable foods. And that would include some dry goods as well as poultry and fish. So we have fresh fish delivered to schools every month. Feeding is uh, we distribute to approximately 80 plus schools in Grenada, including Karate. And um, we distribute like the raw goods. That is to say um, onion, rice, white sugar, brown sugar. We have peas, that's a limited school peas. We have onion, ketchup, etc. And uh, we have um, the poultry, poultry that is um, as you say, the chicken, different um, with including fish. Obviously, we, we are doing fish today. Okay, well, for the children, every day is different amount of children. So, time for two twenty, two fifty. You know, based on how it goes. Different menus, pelau, 
Rai Santi stu chicken kalalu with pumpkin. Yesterday we did provision with stu fish. You know every day is a different meal. Soup, sleepy soup, pumpkin soup, kalalu soup. Name it. It's there. Yes. Alice St. Paul. I'm the community teacher. Alice St. Paul. Happy Larissa. You're going to Martha's Catholic School. I'm the teacher in charge of the school feeding. Well, on weekends I get monies from the, so the principal to go shopping. I normally look for those farmers in the area that has the um, gross, the, um, produce. I buy from them the bananas, plantain, the callaloo, peas, whatever is needed for the school feeding. And those I don't get from the farmers, I go to the supermarket, especially food um, and the supermarket. Right? And I get my discount as well using my discount card on behalf of the school. And at the kitchen, I'm the person in charge of making sure that the food is ready on time. The children eat every piece of food that they got, especially when it's provisioned rice. When it's soup, they eat it nicely. I don't have to bellow behind them. But most time when it's provisioned and so on, I have to be like a massa at their back to get them to eat. But they are doing it. We don't have much wastage. Most time the dogs get just the bone. Welcome back, viewers. We hope that you enjoyed that video there from the Student Support Services, the Ministry of Education. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with our talking points of the morning. Stay with us. As a farmer, I play my part in practicing sustainable land management. I do not allow my animal to graze in any one spot for a long time. I manage my use of fertilizer and pesticides very carefully. And when I plant on the hillside, I practice contour farming. I am trying to stop land degradation, and you can help me. Land is the foundation upon which life depends. Let us manage the land sustainably. Love the land you live on. A message from the Sustainable Land Management Project, Ministry of Agriculture, with funding provided by the Government of Grenada, Global Environment Facility, and the United Nations Development Program. Viewers, we are just coming down to the end of our program, just entering our talking point segment. Today in the news, the Inland Revenue Division says only three more days are remaining for Grenadians to pay their property taxes for the year 2014. Through an advisory, the division warns that failure to pay within the specified period could result in penalty and interest of 10 and 2 percent respectively. The IRD urges all property owners to take advantage of the remaining period to settle their accounts and avoid the imposition of penalties and interest applied on their accounts. Payments can be made online on the IRD's e-services website at the Inland Revenue Division main office or any district revenue office throughout Grenada, Caracou and Petite Martinique. Again, reminding you that there are only three more days remaining for Grenadians to pay their property taxes for the year 2014. And before we wrap up today, we always like to leave you with a quote of the day. And because it is back to school week, we are going to share an education themed quote. It says this one is from Victor Hugo, and it says, He who opens a school door closes a prison. Reflect on that throughout the rest of the morning and throughout the rest of the day. We enjoyed having you joining us here on Spice Morning, and as always, we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.